Hello everyone. In this class, we are going to understand the concept of performance planning for Linux servers. For example, in this class, we are going to understand the concept of system monitoring, CPU performance, memory planning, uh, disk input output optimization, network performance, load balancing, kernel planning, application planning, persistent performance monitoring, backup and recovery, security optimization, and some. Uh, Interview questions and answers on performance planning for Linux servers. So now, what is performance planning? Performance planning is the process of making your computer or server work more efficient. It involves adjusting different settings like how the CPU, memory disk, and the network are used to make sure everything runs smoothly and quickly. For making sure that everything should run quickly and CPU, memory, network, I do. Uh, the goal of performance is to slow down, reduce speed, and also use resources in the best way possible. Now, why performance training is essential for Linux servers? Performance training is essential for Linux servers because it directly impacts the efficiency, reliability, and scalability of the system they support. Performance training is not just a technical necessity but a strategic priority for any organization rely on the Linux server. So we have to cover some key areas for in the Linux server performance study. So the first one is system monitoring. Now what is system monitoring? System monitoring is a tool which helps you to keep the track of the resources like CPU, memory, disk and the network. Enable proactive performance study. Now how it works, how system monitor monitoring works. It tool periodically collects and the real time statistics about the same video usage. Now the first syntax is top. Top. Top is nothing but it is the real time view of the system. Also, uh, top is the old version. Uh, and it also uh, it is also pre-installed in the Linux. Uh, it shows all the information about the CPU. So this performs the task that is top. You can see here there are total we have performed one 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 total task. One is in the running state. 110 is in the sleeping mode. Zero are top. You can see all the here is the process item, motor, etc. All information is clear. The second one is S top is nothing but the advanced version of a uh, top. It is a newer and also it adds the color and gives you a more interactive user interface than a top. So just type here S top. Now you can see the color and the interactive user interface. Uh, third one is VM stack. VM stack. Now, VM set is nothing but uh, it tells you that uh, uh, the activity of the CPU memory, input output statistics. Uh, also, it uh, gives the information about the your memory, your CPU usage. So here you can see the free memory, buffer memory, cache memory. Um, then the fourth one is IO set. IO set is the input output statistics. Uh, it means monitor system input output device and generate your generate user report. It gives you the report. So, so just type here I O S that, and here you can see it has given you the report. Now the fifth one is star. Star is nothing but it collects reports and saves the system information. It says what activities you have performed that saves and it makes the report out. Um, it, uh, it is also used for network monitoring also. It gives you the information about the start. And your Linux will start. If you would use your nice system, wave, steel. The next one is um, uh, CPU performance. CPU performance means uh, the performance running focus on optimization, uh, CPU usage, usage to handle workload efficiency. Now CPU use for workloading and how it works. It works for CPU frequency scaling, assigned CPU affinity, and balance workload using these specific features. 
Now there are some syntax which can be seen with the example that is LSTPU. LSTPU is a list of the CPU. It gives you all the uh, information about the CPU. That is what is the model name, CPU family, model, array, etc. Software and all all information. Now the next one is uh, cat slash process slash CPU information. It gives you the CPU configuration uh, information. So just uh, copy this, the path, and just paste it here. And it will give you all the information about the CPU configuration. That what is the CPU ID label, uh, what is the flag, what is CPU MS, cat size, and etc. Now, third one is memory connect. Now, what is memory connect? Memory connect ensures efficient use of a RAM and swaps uh, the space to avoid the bottleneck. Uh, it is used for memory information. Now, how it works? It works assisting kernel memory management parameters to optimize how memory is alone and used. So, just here type 3, about to, to give, it will give the information about the how much memory is free, how much you, you have total, how much memory, the buffer memory, available memory, so on and so we are that, we are that we already know what is that. System CTL, system CTL is the modified kernel parameter at the current time. Now, uh, system CTL, uh, so just type here, system CTL VM dot swapnik. VM swapnik is nothing but, uh, Balance the fatness ratio between the fine uh, spec pages and anomalous pages. So by just uh, typing here, you can see the fatness is 60. Now, what is the minimum fix? that the server will attempt the use class when it when it reaches 60 percent of the total RAM use. Now the fourth one is uh, cat slash process slash main information. That is, it is the memory use is information. So just copy paste this and you can see the information about how much memory is available, how much how much active, how much inactive, and all. Now the fourth one is this input output optimization. Now this IO output our optimization involves reducing wait times and improving data transfer efficiency to this. Now how it works? It configures this input output scheduler and other parameters to ensure optimal performance in between operations. It is used for reading or writing information. So, first one is IOCT. IOCT, I already know it is input output uh, statistics, it gives the information and also makes the report. Now, DSF, DS F. Now, DS F display the disk. Uh, uh, also, it shows the amount of free disk space on each mount disk. Here you can see the available memory and the used memory and etc. Now, the uh, next one is mount. Mount is with the information of the system about the file. It also mount is uh, for to make the file system available for use at a specific location on the computer. So, it gives you information uh, when to use the memory and when to not. The fourth one is CAT process slash uh, partition. It uh, lists the partition on the system. For making the partition, we use this command. So, just paste it here and see the partition. There are major seven, minor, block, three, all the information. Now, the fifth one is network performance. Network performance running ensures that network throughput, uh, uh, latency, and efficiency are optimized for the workflow. Now, how it works? Running involves adjusting TCP slash IP, chat parameters, and monitoring network traffic. Now, here is an example. If config, if config is display the network, whichever the networks are running in your computer, in your system, it will show you. So just type here if config and you can see how many network interfaces are running in the background. Now next step. Now next step means a network that uh, it shows the network connections and routing tables. 
So just sign here next set as per I and it will give you the information of all the network connections, routing tables, etc. Now I press. I press is a network bandwidth. Uh, it also specifies that the instance is to act as a client node connecting to a given server. Um, so, but just typing by hyphen, uh, sorry, just uh, by, by uh, typing here your server name, uh, you can see how much you transfer, how much uh, you bit write. Uh, they are transferring uh, 1.14 GBs and a standard receiver, how many you receive, how much you transfer, etc. Now, this is a traffic function. It is used for typing your network traffic. The command is PCQ disk show. By this, you can see the traffic control. You can see here how the sixth one is load balance. Load balancing is a distribution incoming network traffic across of multiple servers to ensure no single server is overwhelmed. Now, how it works? If load balancer forwards clients uh, to the backend server based on the plan availability. The uh, NGI and it. so you, you can see configure the setup for loading load balancing by the command. You can see here all the information that your login setting, your script setting, basic settings, and all the settings and virtual host config, and the protocol, proxy, and etc. The next command is. Uh, uh, high other high availability proxy for it is also used for load balance. So just copy this and here you can see all the information at the mode, option, time map, error file, error find name, error find number, and so on. Now conversion. A kernel turning this means adjusting the parameters to improve the performance and efficiency on the index kernel. Now, how the kernel turning works? Uh, by uh, low level behavior, like uh, networking, memory management, and disk install. Uh, the first one is the system CTL. System CTL is used for display the set, display or set the kernel parameters. So, just by Copying here, you can see the background byte, background ratio, byte ratio, and so on. The next one is cat process slash system slash network. It is a kernel parameter. Uh, it is used to view the value of the IP format parameter and the IP default sub directory. So, by just following this command, you can see the information. Uh, in uh, my system, the IP forward parameters only are zero. So, if that is all, it shows you how many IP, or IP addresses you have forwarded. I forwarded zero IP addresses. Now, the eighth one is application timing. Application timing improves the efficiency and performance of a specific uh, application running on the network. So, by modifying an appli application configuration, to be optimized. Uh, connecting network is wrong. First one is uh, the syntax is MySQL owner. Kernel. MySQL provide uh, so for this we have to perform two rows. Always apply two rows first. You can see here the information. You can see the configuration. The ninth one is persistent performance monitoring. Performance Persistent monitoring tool for continuous and long term monitoring uh, detect performance issues earlier. It shows the, uh, the issues earlier. So it collects the data over time and uh, alters the based on predefined threshold. The first one is mumming. You can install this by just uh, giving the uh, application that is sudo apt install mumming and uh, your mumming is installed. The second one is collecting, that is collect data. By applying this syntax, you can collect the data. You can enable the data, you can enable, you can disable, you can start, you can check the status of the data. 
there are so many commands involved. But then when it's backup and recovery, so backup and recovery is ensuring that the uh, integrity and system recovery um, in case of failure. Backup can be full, incremental, and exponential, and recovery involves storing data from backup. So for the backup, you have to use this command that is um, R synchronous, that is backup and synchronizing file. So by just following this command, you can get the backup. The eleventh one is the security optimization. Security optimization is we will be running harder in a Linux server by configuring firewalls, disabling unnecessary services, and setting up a secure access. Now, configuring firewall and tablet ensure that unauthorized access is blocked. Unauthorized access can be blocked. So, first command is firewall. Uh, there are some rules that manages the firewall list. So, by following this uh, list, you can check the list of the firewall. The second one is IP tablet. IP tablet is network filtering and package packet manipulation. So it shows you uh, the IP tablet. So just by copying this, you can see here the information that is uh, it changes input which is forwarded which is uh, out. Tablet and and here you can see here all the information. Now the last one is interview questions and answers on performance demo for Linux server. Uh, I have given the questions and also the answers on the performance demo. You can go through it and it may be help you for uh, the interview questions they may ask on the performance demo. Uh, you can go through the uh, article related that is introduction to Linux and the Linux file system also. Uh, that's it all. Uh,